were walking up and down Phil Campbell and I was like, I was just shocked at like everything that it had, the, everything that was gone and that wasn't there. And then I saw the band room and I was like, oh, whoa. Cause it, the GM's in front of it and I walked by and it was just gone. And I, I don't know, I just busted out crying cause I was like, oh my gosh, I'm six years. Emptiness with a lot inside. Like the soul of the band room, just the atmosphere was just gone. It was just outside. Saw a few of my friends and I hugged them, told them that they were, that I told them I was happy that they were still alive and that they were okay. And next thing that I put my focus on was the instruments because that was the very wall that they were under that collapsed. We used to have so much fun in here and we don't have that anymore. We don't have a way to preserve our fun memories and our funny times and we don't have a place to come together and it was kind of like our home away from home. Phil Campbell 3 to 911. I got rotation coming through Phil Campbell right now. And it was scary because <laughs> like I said I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know, I haven't heard from many people. So I didn't know who was still alive and it was hurt. It was, it was awful. It just didn't look right. Like where walls had been, there weren't walls and it just, sad, very sad. It was like all destroyed and whenever we walked up to it, bricks was on everything. Everybody thought that we were done and there wasn't going to be a band program, but we've come back so much more stronger than we were before. I just learned that, you know, God has to take things away in order to give something better. And I think that we've really learned that. We've learned that it doesn't matter what is taken from us, that we can use what we have and make something completely better. And we're really adapting. And as a band, I think that we're doing really well.